Sagittarius, how are we? I've already laid down a few cards because it takes so long to do the oracle part of it. Um, yours is coming out pretty interesting. I want to see what else I can pull of it. Okay, dokey. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what is going on with you? That's it for that. Okay. Sagittarius. All right. Let's go over this. Um, um I think this is one of your neighbors. Um, if it's not, it's something, something that you saw that you may want to get clarity on or that someone else saw that they like, I saw it and I'm not for sure about what I saw. So I need to address it. We need to clear the air about what it is that I saw. It's like, I don't know if you were at the bus stop waiting, like, or, or if someone or a child saw this and a child is saying, this is what I saw. And there is a need to clear the air about it. Someone saw something. Definitely. They definitely saw something. And there is something that we need to clear the air about. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this is a neighbor or this is you. If a neighbor confronts you, like this is what I saw. And they just want to, you know, clear the air with you. Yeah, absolutely. This person... This person wants to fill you in. They want to fill you in about the activities of someone. They want to tell you who they saw them with, what they saw, that they really got a higher perspective on this. I have it twice. This person had a front row seat at whatever they saw. Um, there was some uh, between these two cards, sweetie. This is strippers and drugs. Someone getting high and there are strippers involved. This person had a front row seat and what they saw, who they saw. They, I don't know if they have it on film. Ooh. Um... Whomever shares this information, it's hard information to swallow.
uh, they, it's hard information to swallow. They're, whatever you're finding out, this phone call is going to change your life. Um, yeah, this phone call is going to change your life. Um, there are several slurs here. I'm sorry, but I see a lot of slurs here about someone being a class clown. This person dresses like a clown. They're not very intelligent. They don't dress their age. Um, there's something wrong with the way this person dresses, like their wardrobe is out of style. Something just doesn't make sense. Um, someone talks a lot very poorly of another person. I think this is a message that you may see on a phone. I don't know, but it's something that someone saw that they need to clarify. I do see this ending um, a relationship. Um, I'm going to be honest. I feel like... Um, Someone saw something. Whoever else is involved. Oh, God. I don't know if you put someone up to investigating someone and what they're doing. Uh, there's some type of worst nightmare here. There's some type of worst night. It's like you. Yeah. Um, there's something that was investigated or is in being investigated right now. It's almost like someone's just trying to figure it out. Problem solve. So they're going to investigate the activities of someone else. But whatever they see is really, really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, there is a lot of sex involved. And I have game over and, um, a, and a contract ending. Sagittarius. Whew. It's... Um, and I hate to, I don't want to say this is a parent's worst nightmare. I do feel an urge to say that. A parent's, a parent's worst nightmare. This feels like a parent's worst nightmare. Someone finds something, they see something, and they address it. They begin brainstorming, investigating, and then there's this tantric sex around something. Whatever they find out, they discover some type of tantric sex. In the past position, I have the past. Um, I have something that was done in the past. This is a parent's worst nightmare. There's something that's done in the past. It's a parent's worst nightmare. Yep. Something that you see, or maybe you, you felt this in the past. Like, I saw it. I didn't know what I saw. I want to discuss it now. Um, but this person that you're dealing with, it's almost like nobody would ever suspect this person of this. There's something about, the, there's something about, um, worst nightmare. And I'm, I'm inclined to say a parent's worst nightmare. Um, I don't know if you set up cameras, if you put some type of bugging device on something. There's some type of investigation that's taken place. <sighs> What's going on here? 
tantric sex in this investigation. Somebody has some very fond memories of the past. And it sounds like a child. And it's like these are very fond memories to a child. But whatever's repeated is your worst fear. So we brainstorm on how we can successfully investigate this. What is going on here? It's like someone's going to get a higher perspective. They need to find out what's going on. They need to get above this. There's a problem moving on from this. Uh, whatever this is, it's already happened because there was some type of sexual player misconduct before. Whoever was involved here had a very difficult time moving on from it. Leaving the past in the past. All right, what's going on here? Yeah, not leaving well enough alone. And you've got 66, by the way. Six of cups, six of swords. I don't know if someone hung around there for some monetary gain. They did. This is what I suspected. Someone hung around for some monetary gain. Six is referred to wealth. Yeah, someone has hung around for monetary gain. And I saw this. It was like with this Born to Shine card. Somehow, this has turned into uh, going down memory lane. Um, someone gaslighting another. Um, and making this person believe that they didn't see what they, what they know they saw. Um, I don't know if someone had sex with a family member. There is a lot of hanging around for the money. Ten of Pentacles. Someone's having a hard time leaving because of the money that is, this is property, um, assets, so on and so forth. Is there anything that's going on with the Six of Cups? <sighs> um, this feels like maybe some type of open relationship. Like, um, someone that's not necessarily together. Um, someone that's telling someone they're not together, but they clearly are. Um, and somehow this has kind of opened Pandora's box because this has led to threesomes, uh, so on and so forth. This is something a child tells you. I felt the child. A child does something. In the past, there's some type of memory. I don't know if this child acts out in some way. But they do, they act out some way. And they're acting out um, this person very childish back then. Someone was very, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Someone here has a very hard time moving on with their life. And it's left this person um, frustrated. Not knowing what to do. Like, it's over. It's been over. We're still having sex. I'm brainstorming on how to get out of this. How to move forward. And take some property and assets with me. If I can just prove that this person is doing something. Someone's very frustrated and worried. They, um... They're having trouble moving on, not knowing what to do, losing sleep, 
wishing they had moved on when they had the opportunity to do so. Yeah. Whatever this is, um, I feel like you're suffering at the hands of this money. This is um, long, t long suffering. I feel like someone here ber berates the other one. They gaslight them. They call them terrible names. They do this in front of friends and family. They openly have sex with others. When you've confronted this person about their behavior, they've willingly, I think they've told you. I think this person also chose to, um, they kind of brainstormed on how to run you off. They then suggested threesomes, or you did, some type of open relationship. You felt like if you fulfilled such fantasy that this would save your marriage or relationship, you would be able to stay in this very profitable commitment. But it has led, someone hanging out there just for the wealth has led to long, long suffering. Long suffering. Someone's met playing around with someone's heart. And it's because we, there's, um, there's money involved here. Someone's heartbroken. Sage, I feel like I've done this damn story for you so many times. It's hard for me to do it, you know. I love to pull new energy for you. I really would. I get tired of repeating the same storyline here. But I will for as for as long as you need me to do it. I will. I will. Poor Sag here. I feel for you. Uh, I think they're. I think this. I think someone's confidence is just completely shattered. I think you've. Someone's been brainwashed. I don't really know. I do see someone hanging out there for the wealth, and there's a good bit of wealth there. Um. What, is there anything else? I think someone's growing up here. Um, I think someone is um, very childish and they are acting very immature for their age. I feel like this person, there's something to do with the wardrobe here that doesn't make sense as well. There's someone here that's treated very well and the other one is treated very poorly. There's also um, a lot of childish energy around this. Yeah. Yep. What is the advice for Sagittarius? Yeah, there's a decision here that we need to make and a very small offer. It's like you're at the fork in the road. Yeah. There's more that will be revealed and it's going to affect this decision. There's something hidden right now that was done in the dark, and it's going to affect this decision. This communication is coming to you very quickly, and it, it's going to affect the decision. It's going to have a lot of bearing on what happens next. 
There's way too many lovers in the mix here. Um, I don't know if you've had several people reach out to you or whomever I'm talking to. Or you're reaching out to people. But there's way too... The lovers is usually a choice between two. Um, There's way too many lovers involved here. What is the advice for Sagittarius, please? Some kind-hearted advice for my Sagittarius. Yeah. Something about the marriage, the commitment, the morals, the value, the integrity, the legal trouble here of marriage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone needing help, um, but not doing much to get the help. Ignoring other options and only looking at worst case scenario. Um, someone does need legal help. And it's like I do see someone very depressed about it. Yeah. It's like you go back and forth because there's a, there's a strong potential here for a successful marriage. I'm depressed. I didn't get what I wanted. I need help. Yep. Yep. I mean, someone also doesn't do a lot. They just kind of sit around depressed. Yep. Yeah. There's a delay on the marriage. There's a delay on the legalities of it. I saw this in your pre-shuffle. This is all the same energy I saw in the pre-shuffle. Very depressed. Um... Not moving on. I need help. There is um, a decision here. And the communication is coming in. I don't know if you've asked someone for help. You're at the fork in the road. And there is some positive news coming. There's been a delay here. And a divorce, maybe. It's like I'm just miserable right now. I'm at the fork in the road. I don't know what to do. I'm waiting on some communication. Um, yeah, you got two tens. Tens are endings. There, there's a lot of stress right now at the house. Someone feels like they're a burden. Um, someone's doing all the work. They're extremely stressed out. They're overwhelmed. One more wand and my back is going to break. Yeah. Um, someone plays victim in this. Um, there's a delay here. There's a marriage. And then I see this. Someone be, um, being very cold to another. Um, not opening up. Not sharing much about how they feel. And then I have this person who feels helpless. It's like I'm kind of stuck here. Stuck by marriage. I'm stuck. There's a huge delay living on with my life. Yeah. This person. Misery loves company. Um, misery loves company. This person is stalling. There's too much stalling. Only seeing what I want to see. Like... Um, oh no, we're fine. You're not fine. I have a Ten of Wands verifying a Ten of Cups. You're not fine. Things are getting worse and worse. This person, they're not doing anything to move things along. Someone feels very depressed. They came to a fork in the road and it's like, there's communication here like, I'm not ready to go. I'm not ready to do anything. I'm not ready to end this. I just, I think I can endure more. 
but you're, someone is very helpless right now. It's like they're playing victim. They're miserable. Yeah. But then they have this sneak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, on the outside, everything looks grand. The inside is a mess. Someone is ex extremely stressed out. And there's another person here extremely sneaky. Extremely sneaky. Extremely sneaky. Mm -mm. This is someone that puts on the persona that everything is okay. Everything couldn't be further from okay. Mm -mm. This will continue. I guess for as long as you allow it, but tens are endings and you're pulling, you're pulling two of them in the future. There's a plan to overwhelm someone, to stress them out so much. Yeah. Eight of wands, nine of swords. I mean, I'm, excuse me, eight of swords. There's a lot of swords here in the past. It's like, there's a legal decision. There's a marriage here. Um, someone not doing anything and it's like because there's a victim mentality here someone needs to save someone this person very very frustrated losing sleep am I going to be rescued and I'm miserable are you going to make a decision I'm waiting on the communication this person not taking the risk not doing anything about it and then there's this um, offer of money six of pentacles right and then now on the outside, everything looks grand. The inside is a mess. We're stressed out. We're worried. There's this plan here. What is that seven of swords about, please? Thank you. Yeah, the, yeah, the investigation. So someone's just going to investigate um what the other is doing because there's sneaky behavior here so someone's going to spy on the activity of the other one stress this person out because this person is so already overwhelmed there's a lot of spying a lot of sneakiness going on sneaky spying There's a lot of influence here, installing over the money, over the gifts. Spying, being sneaky, worried, stressed out. But we're happy. But we're happy. It's just a repeating story at this point. It's just a repeating story. Misery, loving company, spying, very low vibrational. But you knowing how to put on a, uh, a good front. Um, can you give me something else? What else I need to know? How much time do I have? Not much. You're at 28. What else do you want to say? Anything on the person? Anything on other person here? Anything on the other person here? Something about the truth, and this hurts. The truth hurts. It severs. It cuts. There's a hard truth here. There's a very hard, hard, hard truth, and it hurts. Truth hurts. Yeah. Someone's over it. They're over the depression. This person's over it. There's a hard truth here. Yeah, about this person. You got two aces. Um, this person I feel like is very passionate. They're on to bigger and better. This person's very charming. Um, somewhat of a super dad. There's a lot of passion around this person. He's very sexually driven. The truth about why someone went back. The truth about why somebody returned. Six of Swords. Yeah, 
Um, it's, uh, they're over, they're over the depression part. It's like someone's around for the money. Ten of Pentacles, again, it's a repeating storyline. There's a hard truth about why someone went back. Um, they're no longer depressed. They're just sitting at the Ten of Pentacles. Um, and I feel like this guy here that someone's dealing with is very, very passionate. He has a lot of passionate ideas and he's very good looking. And I think that this person, um, you know, gets around, I hate to say this, someone also may have got some type of sexually transmitted disease. There's something about the children here um, and this person, their loyalty and faithfulness is questionable um, at the, yeah. And there's something about this marriage um, this person, there's a hard truth about why this person returned and it, they felt like at the time they were doing what was right. Um, they're no longer pressed about it. It's just a, all about the money and how it looks. And I think originally this person really wanted this, like they saw this with you. They saw the 10 of pentacles and the 10 of cups, but I, I, this person no longer cares, and it's because they're on to something bigger and better. It's like something else has caught this person's attention. Yeah, and and this male, this masculine figure, also very worried. Um, but it's like they're kind of worried. Um, but then they they kind of flip flop between hot and cold. I don't give a damn. Very non-committal, but it's sometimes very committal. This person is hot and cold. They um, are like this because they can be like this. This person has options. This person's very easy to look at. This person has a lot of good ideas. They are passionate and they know about what they know what they're doing. Um, they can get behind what they're doing. They can back up what they're doing. I do not like the passionate with the emperor card. It's like this person is wishy-washy. Sometimes they're faithful. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes they care, they act concerned. Other times they don't give a damn. Mm -mm. Sometimes this person, um, I do think that there's a lot of care about the children. And there's a lot of care about everything else going on. And on the outside, this person wants to believe, wants people to believe that everything is okay. I also believe that this person has introduced someone else into the relationship with the Ace of Wands. This was this person's bright idea. This tells me with the Emperor um, Wishy-Washy, with the Nine of Swords Wishy-Washy, this person doesn't care. I have it here in the Five of Cups. This person doesn't care. You're here for the money. You want everything to look well. I want to bring someone else in to the bedroom. This person wavers with their commitment and their faithfulness. And at times they care and at other times they don't. They don't. They don't. I hope that helps.